Welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick, and today we're going to look at how to store and recall values on the Texas Instruments TI-30X2S calculator. To do this, we'll be using the store recall key located here, and the second function key located up here. All right, now this calculator has five storage slots for data. If we want to start storing values, let's store 10 initially. So we put 10 on the screen and then press the STO key, which is short for store. And this brings up our five storage slots, A, B, C, D, and E. Let's put our 10 in the A. So we highlight the A and hit enter. We see 10 going into the A. All right, now let's store 15. So again, we put 15 on the top, hit the STO key, here you can see A has 10 in it. Down here shows which, what is stored in each slot. So we move over to the B. You can see it has nothing stored right now. And hit enter. 15 into B. All right, let's store 100. Again, place it on the top screen. Hit the STO key. And move over to the C. Hit the enter. And we have, now have 100 stored as C. All right, now if we want to use these numbers in a calculation, let's say A plus B plus C, without having to type them in, we would use the second function recall, select the A, hit enter. Next is the plus, so we go plus, second function recall B, enter, and we know 100 is stored as C, so plus second function recall C, enter. There's our equation. We press equals again, and we get 125, which is A plus B plus C. All right, let's store a couple more numbers. Let's store 200 in the D slot and 25 in the E. So again, 200, store, moving over to the D, and pressing enter. 200 into D, and 25, oh, back one, 25, there we go. Store, over to the E, enter. There we go. So again, we can use these in a calculation, let's say, 200 minus 25, or D minus E. Second function, recall D minus second function, recall our E value. And there we go, 175, which is D minus E, or 200 minus 25. We can also use the memvar key that looks like this and is located here to recall data and display it as the letter that is the name of the save slot. If we recall the data stored in the A slot, it would display as A on the screen. This can be very helpful when solving known formulas or complex equations. An example of this would be solving a Pythagoras theorem question, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, to determine the length of side c of a right angle triangle. If we know side a and b here, we can, re -write, we can rewrite this formula as the square root of a squared plus b squared equals c. So, if we want to get started, we'll save the 3 as the a side, store a, enter, 4 is the b side, 4, store, b. All right, we've got our data entered. Now we just need to recall it for the formula. As I said, we can use the memvar key for this. So if we're going to enter our formula like this, we'll start with the square root. And then memvar, and 
a squared. So there's our a. Enter squared plus membar b squared. There's our b squared. Close our bracket and press equals. This gives us 5, which is the length of our C side. All right, and if we're done with our save data, we can clear the screen. And if we wanted to clear our data slots, we can use second function of the memvar key, that is CLR var or clear variables. Hit that. So if we go back into memvar, we can see we no longer have any data saved here. And they're open for our next. Uh, equation. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests.